Welcome to Mobile Must Have. My name's Andy, and today we're going to explain what a pep wave is. All right, so we all have that time where we first hear about a device, we don't really know what it is, we don't know what it does, um, but we're curious. So I'm trying to explain um, how I view what a pep wave is and, and give you kind of the core features of one. We'll start at kind of some of what all pep waves have generically, and then I'll give you our top three options of what we sell on Mobile Must Have. Um, but again, there are more options than that. Um, so at its core, a pep wave is a networking device. Um, they call them an LTE router. And its core function is that it can bring in a cell network, like AT&T or Verizon a data plan. You can put it into the SIM slots, and it will create a Wi-Fi that you can use, like you normally would in your house, um, right from the device. It's very easy and it takes almost no setup to kind of get that get that working. Um, so it has a cellular kind of modem in it. It has a Wi-Fi capability so you connect your laptop to it or your phone to it and it also has GPS. So think of like the old kind of low jack kind of thing where you could see where your vehicle was. If this has power and you've connected a GPS antenna to it, you can see basically where, well, at least where the pep wave is located. Um, some good use cases for the pep wave would be really any kind of nomadic person. So that would be more like myself, an RVer, a boater is typically a really good fit for this. We even have a lot of truckers that um, are doing cross country and they're just never really plugged in and they would like some Wi-Fi. This is really good for that use case. Uh, another good use case for this is rural homes, some place where they might not have wired internet to run to their particular location. If you have cell service, you could run one of these and get full basically home-blown Wi-Fi like you'd expect. There's another really cool feature I like about the pep wave called Wi-Fi as WAM. And basically, if you're going somewhere that has public Wi-Fi available, you can connect that Wi-Fi to the pep wave, and then the pep wave can use that as your main source of internet, your main kind of inbound source. You could turn off or use it in tandem to your cell connection, um, but now you have kind of more capability and more bandwidth to use um, through a free Wi-Fi source. If you're familiar with a Wi-Fi Ranger um, or other products like that, that would be similar in capability, um, but I think in a much more smaller kind of joint pack with how the pep wave solves that problem. And the last feature that I think is important to mention is its power. You can power this through a DC connection, say directly to an auto battery or an RV battery, uh, or you can run it directly into AC power. It has both options on the bottom. Um, it's a really good option if you boondock a lot and you would like to have Wi-Fi available. Um, just run it off of the house batteries or the RV, the boat batteries. Um, it's very flexible. You don't need inverters to, to use this device. Uh, now let's go through kind of our three top options for PepWave. Uh, there is the PepWave Mini. Um, that is going to be about a 400 just under $400 option. It has all those major features we talked about in this unit, um, except for the Wi-Fi as WAN. That is available to purchase as an add-on. Uh, this particular unit is called the MK2, and I would say is a great kind of middle, all-around good option. Um, it has all the major features. You can connect to two SIM cards with it. It has both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, it has GPS. It's got all the major things built into it. This is a really solid choice. If you want to go over the top, uh, like I did, you can go with the Transit Duo. That is going to be a little bit bigger than this one, not by much. And you have two cell modems in it with the Wi-Fi. So you can run simultaneously two SIM cards. You have four total slots. And then you can run Wi-Fi on top of that. It's a true beast of a machine. Um, but it's great if you really need a solid connection. You can't afford to have any kind of drops in connection. Um, you have four SIMs to kind of cover all that usage. It's... um. It's definitely a solid choice. Now, one of the great things we do like and mobile must have about these pep weights is you can use a pointing MIMO antenna, um, which basically is a roof mount antenna that um, you can connect to all three of these with. We have an antenna kind of matched to each one. Um, and if you would like better service or you need kind of better connection overall, um, that's a really cheap, inexpensive way to really get a lot more out of the pep wave and the service you have available. 
All right, guys, I hope you got kind of some of the basics about what a pep wave is. Check out the rest of the videos on our channel. We show you how to set one up. We show you how to troubleshoot, how to connect to Wi-Fi, all different kinds of things, all about pep waves on this particular channel. So go check it out. I'll link them below, up above, at the end of the video, all the places. All right, thank you for hanging out with us today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.